Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. 13 minutes into the hour. This is going to be one of my fir- uh, favorite first dates. I can already, already <laughs> tell Kelly Kincaid. We're talking about... We're talking about dating and love. You know, the springtime is here. A lot of people are ready to peel the clothes. And some players are ready to peel their significant others. But... There's a lot of people that are looking for love sway. You know, I went on Match.com. You know, online dating for a lot of people is really big. You know, 44% of adult Americans are single. Yeah. And I know girlfriends. I'm just, I'm talking about friends that I know. A lot of my girlfriends, they don't want to be single. And it's being, it's about to be warm. They mm-hmm. want to be booed up yeah. walking through Central Park or wherever. You know, but I wanted to take the perspective of a male. And I had to bring in Josen Cummins. He's a feature reporter from the New York Post Meat Market. And he also has this really interesting blog called UntilIGetMarried.com. Good morning, Josen. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Sweat. Josen, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. Me and this dude go way back. Really? Yeah. Yes. yes, we do. <laughs> we did an interview. It was for v- Vibe Magazine. Yep, Funk uh, Master Flex. And you on yeah. the phone at the same time, like just going through the whole radio history, career history. Yeah. So that was that was a lot of fun. I, had, I really enjoyed talking to the both of you. That's what's and up, man. Great so, story. So, Josen, what I find interesting that you, you are a pop music writer. You write mm-hmm. about a lot, but you chose to take your blog and mm-hmm. write about dating and love. So you right. started a few years ago, until mm-hmm. I get married.com, mm-hmm. and you have a boo now. I do. You know, why why <laughs> did you why did you choose to start writing about dating? Um, well, the the idea of writing about dating at least from the male perspective wasn't an entirely new concept, but mm-hmm. my approach to until I get married.com was to be more honest. I felt like a lot of guys would get mm. on a high horse when they talked about dating and would tell other people what they should be doing, um, what they shouldn't be doing right. without holding themselves accountable without saying I made these mistakes or I did this or I did that and so I wanted to add a personal touch to that to to that uh, to that genre so Mm -hmm. to speak so until I get married I always kind of I always tell people the key word is I yeah in 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 other words I'm going to make sure that when I'm talking to you about maybe things that you should be doing or things that you shouldn't be doing, it's because I've experienced it and I know that it worked, I know that it didn't work. Um, Just letting people inside more because right. when you tell people the truth, I think that makes everything a little bit more relatable. The people. truth. The truth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, Kelly. Um, <laughs> what are some of the things we, three things as men we should be doing? Well, you should be, one, you should be making plans. Uh-huh. So when you're going out on your date, make the plans. Don't leave it up to the woman. Uh-huh. That's how you your pockets you get broken. Be the man. I do you that. know what I, I mean? So that. so when you when you ask a lady out, have a have a have a plan. Yeah. Because yeah. if you let her go where she wants, and she hit wants, them pockets. Uh, you know, I want to go to yeah. Four Seasons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the the other thing after after you plan the date, don't be afraid to be frugal. Now it's not, it's not cheap. Yeah. But just don't <laughs> date out of your budget. Yeah. Yeah. And and mm-hmm. and you know that way you can have everything you can pay for everything I like this without guy. even True. you know worrying about it. You just have to and 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 rule number three: try to be as creative as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, you know whatever happened to miniature golf dates? You know yeah. maybe you should go ahead and do something like that. If you do something like an activity like miniature golf or maybe even a show yeah. or something like that, it's much, it, it, it it takes dinner down. In terms mm-hmm. of, you don't have to go to a fancy restaurant. Because yeah. dinner in a movie but, uh, is boring. Yeah, yeah, dinner in a movie is boring. Yeah. So if you go take on the miniature golf, so to speak, they <laughs> had a fun time, then all you guys got to do is go get some slices of pizza. That's you know, true. You know, and, and, and there, you, you, you've you done something together. And yeah. you were creative. And, and you were creative, oh, and it wasn't all about dinner. She's oh, not evaluating. Uh, wait, let me jump in here, man. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to see 300... You know the sequel in 3D. That is not boring. But no. uh, but always always doing dinner in a movie. That's like a safeguard. Yeah. Dinner in a movie. Let's go eat and let's go to the movies. Be creative. And I love about plans. Don't call me the day like of two hours before you want to go out. You know yeah. what I want to do? You have advice for women as well. I do. I yeah. do have advice for, for, for uh, that want to lock in and get right into. Okay. Well, let's do this. I want to hear the advice for single women as well. If you're a single man, single woman. You're looking mm-hmm. for love. 
call us. All right, 21 minutes into the hour. It's a very interesting topic, Kelly. Yes, we are talking about dating and love this spring, and I have Josen Cummings. He has a blog called UntilIGetMarried.com, and he's also the features reporter you know, for the New York Post Meat Market. And we were just dis- discussing three things that guys need to do for us girls, and it was have a plan, be frugal, and be creative, and I love all of them. I co-sign that. Hey, man, Thank you. Do you practice what you <laughs> preach, bro? Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. Especially be frugal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the number one. De- right. it definitely. Yeah. And it has it helped you find a woman? It it has. It has. Really? Yeah. It, wow. it do you has. like it? What's the experience like so far? It, it's been great. Yeah. Huh? I, I like I like her. I like being in a relationship. But yeah, we were definitely frugal on my on our first date. Mm-hmm. I was frugal. Yeah. How much did you spend? Um, man. How much should I spend? I know the date, the, the well, we we had like hopped around that night, yeah. but um the the initial date, like the plans that I made, cost me under twenty five dollars for the both of us. Wow. Was she homeless? Like I mean, <laughs> I mean what the hell? Twenty five dollars? <laughs> no, it was um you know, it, it it was November, it was cold outside, uh-huh. and um, you know, a long time ago I wrote on until I get married dot com about how you should during the warm winter months, you should take your girl out to soup. Oh. So, so we went to go to a new ramen place that had just opened up. Mm. Um, Ivan Ramen. Yeah. Um, over at um, Gotham West Marketplace. Uh-huh. And, here in um, New York City. Here, yeah. here, here, here in New York City. Yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, you know, you don't say, like, let's go get some soup. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, I know a good, good ramen place. If you're into ramen, we should go. And ramen isn't an expensive meal. Right. So, you know, I kind of, I, I, I dressed it up a little bit to yeah. be more than than Ooh. just soup. And that's what you have to do. You have okay. To is that clean. lying or is that too? Okay. No. All right. <laughs> um, so how, you've been with her how long? Oh, we, we've we been together four months. So we're still in that like honeymoon phase. For a month. Four, four, four months. Four oh, four months. months. Four okay. Four okay. Months. okay. Four okay. months. All right. We four got months. Jerrica is on the line from Oklahoma. This guy actually has advice for women too. Jerrica, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. I am great, and I'm getting better. How you doing? Doing okay. Say hello to Joe Tan. Well, Joseph, my question for you is, um, how do relationships work when it's a big gap in between the age? Because I'm a younger lady, and I am interested in an older guy, but I haven't really took it to the next level because I don't know if people really want to be serious with me. Well, you just have to present... You really, th- this goes for all age groups, but you really have to co- concentrate on being yourself. I know that sounds mm-hmm. cliche, but that's much hard, much more difficult than people think it is, mm-hmm. especially when you are so conscious of your age. If you're 25 and you're into an older, older man and you feel like you have to therefore act, you know, 30 mm-hmm. or, 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 or close to his age, that that might not help. He yeah. may be into the fact that you're 25, a little bit younger. He may be into that age difference. I know for um, my lady and I, there's a six years age difference. She's mm-hmm. 26 and I'm 32. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, but I've never paid attention to that really because her and I just get along so well. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we can both be ourselves. Mm-hmm. So don't be so caught up in the age and the age gap, you know, in as long as you two are both over 18 and um, I would say at least, you know, within 10 years of with, mm. within 10 years, you know, that, that, that's reasonable, but understand that sometimes, yes, there may be some differences in perspectives mm-hmm. on uh, perspective on life and things like that, but don't get too caught up in that age. Find reasons why you two and how you two can get along. All right. Hey, Jack, that works for you. Hey, all right. Yeah. Uh, well, I am single, though, by the way. <laughs> okay, but look, moving forward, he just Thank gave you, you some great advice. And make sure you go yeah. to his website. Thank you. Until I get married, dot com. All right, Diesel in Ohio. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Diesel, you there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, what's your question, bro? I, you know, I just stepped out of a relationship with one of my chicks for like six years, you know, and uh, part of the problem that why we uh, kind of broke up is because she, uh, she said I didn't take her out that much, you know. Um, I'm just trying to get some, you know, real good ideas on how to, you know, kind of work that out with her a little bit. Well, he he first said one of his chicks. Yeah, Maybe I mean, that was one of the reasons. <laughs> how many do you, Diesel, uh, <laughs> D- D- Diesel, I, I, I know you're, you're like a farmer. How many chicks do you have? Right now I got, I mean, right now I got one on the side, you know. Two. So you have two. 
Yeah. Okay. My mains, my mains, and I got my side check. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. This is gonna this is gonna be good. Okay. So so with your main girl, the one she's the one that's saying that you two don't go out enough. Yeah. Okay. Then so did you two live together? Oh, we still live together. <laughs> okay, you still live together, and that's a, that's the a tricky thing, right? Because like when you didn't live live with one another, what would happen is that just going over to each other's place, yeah, was like spending quality time. And once you two just hang out all the time, you two are constantly around each other, and it feels like you two are doing nothing together. The thing about it is, is that you have to make certain things an event, even the everyday things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Spice up going on, running for errands. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you do that, <laughs> but I mean, but I, I have lived with a woman mm -hmm. and like we would sometimes like spend all day just going out, sh uh, window shopping and stuff like that. You gotta be playful with it. You A, a lot of it is in your head and the way that you approach things. Mm -hmm. If you basically treat everything like a chore or a task right you know and then also within within the house get some games i'm dead serious about this. like sex games sex games okay. if you're into that you know what i mean but regular games dominoes yeah cards uno things like that you know just to kind of spice get, it up Hey, right in the middle you know sometimes you two both okay, don't feel but, like but let's doing confront anything. the elephant in the room he yeah. has a side chick. It's not going to work, Diesel. <laughs> you know that, right? I mean, what's but, your advice? I mean, to the, that? Side, the side chick's in the side chick's in the picture a little bit. You know, she wants to be with me, but she, you know, I just stepped out of the relationship, so I don't know. Like, I don't know which one to go to. But you're in the same house with the woman, so you haven't really stepped out. She's just not paying attention to you. Yeah, she's really not paying attention. Uh, you well, you should lose. You should also lose the side chick. J it, simply, well, one because it's wrong. We all know that, and that's obvious. But it's monopolizing your time. You know, it's it, it's literally like taking up room in your mind that could be better spent on your lady and thinking of creative ways to go out and hang out with your lady. And that, so, so really, you know, besides the fact that you're, you're probably lying, cheating, doing something that you shouldn't be doing, it's just <laughs> wasting space in your mind that could be better used for right. your lady. Hey, Diesel, do this. Why don't you try dropping a side check for maybe three months? That's all right. That's all right. All right, I'll work on that. That's good Say advice, that again. Man. I work on that. Work on that. Drop the side. Nah, do it. You'll be surprised. Drop the side check for three months. Reevaluate after that three months. If it ain't working with the main one, I would just tell the main one that, you know, I don't want to be monogamous um, in this relationship anymore. Be honest with her. You'll be surprised. That's true. I mean, if you, you know, if you're putting it down correctly, it might not even matter to her. Hello. Okay, <laughs> you know Diesel. Diesel. I mean, your name is Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> you know. All right. Uh, thanks for your call, man. One more. How can people reach you, bro? Um, I'm on. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's all the same thing. Joe Zenzi, J O Z E N C. Okay. Um, so it, it's all the same thing across the board. And of course, until I get married dot com is a is a great way to reach me as well. And you really can see how you've become this well versed person talking oh. about relationships. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're listening to Sway in the morning on Shay 45.